Hey guys, Mangelin here, and today I'm going to talk about how you can set up your UI and some useful things you can pull up for it. So you automatically start off with everything unlocked, which just so you know, if you don't know already, you can hit L on your keyboard to lock and unlock everything on your screen. But since everything is unlocked now, you can move everything around as you wish. Alright, so let's start with your action bar. So you have your main action bar over here, and that's going to have your health and prayer and other abilities that you can put on that. I personally like to have it in the middle of the screen somewhere, just because I know this is something that you're going to use a lot, so it's something that's easy to see right in the middle there. So you can see, you also have another action bar here that you can just drag right over and put where you want, but you have more action bars that you can use. So if you go over to the number here and right click, you'll see all the action bars that you can use. You could cycle through them to use all of those action bars, or you can pull them out and have them all visible here. So to do that, you're going to hit escape, go into settings, make sure you're in the gameplay tab under combat and action bar, go down to action bar, and you'll see here how you can display additional action bars. So right now we have action bar 1 and action bar 4. So you see how it says action bar 4 right here, but you can display up to three other action bars. So simply click on the drop down, select whatever bar you want to use, and here it comes popping up. So you can just bring up however many ones you want. And you can see this one here came out a little bit vertical. So you can change how that looks by just clicking on the side here and dragging it. So you can make it horizontal or you can keep it vertical like this. I like to keep them all horizontal like this and then bring them down to the bottom. And just keep going, pulling up whatever action bars you want and making it fit however you like. So now that you have your action bar up, you can put all of your abilities right on here. When you're starting out, you're probably not going to use all of these slots, but it's nice to have them readily available. So if you look to the bottom right here, you'll see a bunch of icons. So as you start clicking on these, you'll pull up stuff that can come up on your UI. You could keep all of these all together in this one same tab, or you can pull them out. So I like to have my backpack separate, so I'm going to drag that out and adjust the size of it. And my equipment, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger because if you change the size a little bit, you'll be able to actually see your full character. I know I like to always see my skills, so I'm going to pull that out as a separate tab. Then I'll adjust the size of it and I'm going to put it up over here. And I know this map is way too small for me, so I'm going to go ahead and make that nice and big. Ah, I moved. <laughs> this is all to personal preference, but I don't really like these big labels here. So to get rid of them, you can go into your settings. And go into interfaces and under appearance, just click on high title bars when locked. So when you check off that box, now when you lock your screen, all of those labels will disappear. So now with those headers gone, you actually have more room to play with. So you can make something smaller so that you can make something like the map bigger. So now let's take a look at the bottom right here. So you have this little toolbar on the bottom. I'm just going to bring this to the center just so we can explore it a bit. So we already have these things out that are great. We got our backpack, equipment, skills, and quests. So you're going to want to pull out your abilities somewhere so that you can easily see them. So your prayer abilities is a good thing to pull up. When you click on that, it's going to automatically put that in a tab somewhere. You can keep that there, or you can pull it out and move it wherever you want. For now, I'm just going to keep it there. You also want to show your magic book, so click on that. Your melee abilities, and your range abilities. This is also how you can just drag them on over and put them on your action bar. So whatever abilities you want to use, you can just do them that way. You'll want to keep this bar somewhere on your screen because it'll have some handy things to use. But you're not going to need all the things here since, as you see, we already pulled them out and put them in our interface somewhere. So if you click on the gear here, you can actually change what you see on the bar. So we don't need the backpack anymore, so you can take that out, or the equipment and skills and anything else you pull out. There's also a couple of other useful things that you might want to add in there. Click on the sword icon for your hero info and the mask for customizations. 
You can keep your achievements path here if you want, but I personally don't really use it on that ribbon, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm also gonna get rid of the powers, since that has to do with the ability bars we already put up there. You also want to add your defensive abilities and your constitution abilities. So pull those up and bring them to wherever your other abilities are. So now that you have that set up, you can resize it and put it where you want. Sometimes you can see RuneScape will automatically reformat some things, so you might have to play around with it a little bit to get it to the size you want it to be. So I don't really like this big old space here, so I'm gonna grab my skills and I'm gonna plug that in there to fill it up, and that way I can still see everything. Alright, so we got our backpack, skills, equipment, we got all of our abilities up here. And something nice about the magic book is that you have your teleports here, which will be very handy, but you can also click and drag that to make it its own tab. You can also drag your teleports that they're on the action bar as well, so when you click on that, you can easily teleport to where you want to go. So what's some other useful things you can pull up on here? I'm gonna shorten my chat box a little bit because I know I don't need it to be that big. And I'm gonna pull out our ribbon again real quickly. So if we go into here, some useful things that you might want to have out on your UI is your familiar. So you're going to want to click on that and it's going to put it on your ribbon for a second. But if you want to put it on your UI, just click on it and it's going to pop up. So I'm going to move my familiar icon over here and I'm going to slip it into this spot. So now when I have a familiar summoned, all the information is going to be right here. Now if you don't have a familiar out, it's still going to show this box here. So that may not be something that you want. But I like to have it out here so that it's always in this spot when I bring my familiar out. So now you don't need that familiar icon anymore on your ribbon, so you can just remove that. Another thing I like to have out is my notes. So if you go over the settings gear and go up to the notes and click that, that's going to bring out your notes tab. So you can put this wherever you want. I like to put it up in the corner somewhere. And then you can click that in any kind of notes that you want. This could be helpful to remind you of certain dailies you want to do, or maybe certain tactics during a boss. I'm also going to move up my quest list over there. And I'm going to get rid of this achievement pass, because this isn't really something that I like to have cluttering up my screen. So I'm going to hit the X, and now it's gone. Same thing for the activity tracker. If you're going to be doing a lot of combat, you may also want to bring up your drop log. So go back into this interface, and click on this little loot bag here. So click on it again, and move that where you want. I'll keep it in the same tab as my equipment. Now whenever you get a drop, it'll show up in your log. So let's see, I'm gonna kill this poor little rabbit real quickly. And now when you pick something up, it's gonna show up in that log. This can be pretty helpful when you're trying to track what kind of stuff you get from certain creatures, or how much money you make during a boss. So now that that's done, you can get rid of that in your ribbon. And I'm just gonna move this back. Alright, so you see everything has a place now. You can alter things around however you want, change the size. I want to make my map bigger because I like to have that nice and big so I can move around easier. And once you're done, just hit the L to lock your screen. So now everything's in place, you can't move it, and it's gonna stay right where you put it. Another thing that's up to personal preference is the transparency of your UI. So if you go into settings, gameplay, and look into appearance, you'll see the transparency here. I don't really like it to be too transparent, so I like to make it a little bit darker. So now that we set up our UI, let's take a quick peek at the ribbon down here just to see exactly what some of these things do. So when you click on the compass down here, you're going to bring up different tabs for different activities. Under the quest tab, you'll see more details for all of the quests here. Under the challenges tab, you'll see a bunch of daily activities that you can do to get rewards. These are really good to do every day because you can get treasure hunter keys and extra experience for whatever skill is here. You can also use Vizwax to extend them, which is something you should do if you have it. Over in the mini games, you'll see all of the available mini games throughout the game, and you can filter through it with a drop down. You can also favorite the mini games you like by clicking on the star in the corner. And then over the beast tab, you have, as you may expect, all the different things that you can fight in the game. So you can take a peek at all the bosses, what kind of things they drop, and even how much skill count you have for it. And you can switch it over to some slayer creatures as well. 
And over on the activity tracker, you can keep track of all the, well, activities you have going on. Personally, I don't really use this that much, but when an event called Yak Track comes out, it's very good to keep this out on your UI so you can easily keep track of the different tasks you can do. So if you do want to pull that out, you can just unlock your screen and just pull it back out if you want. So now let's take a peek at the community tab. So you can see a whole bunch of icons over here, but if you simply just click on it, it'll pull up stuff like the grouping system, which is good when you're trying to find a group for a boss, or other social things like friends list and your clan chat. You may want to pull some of these out to have your own separate tab, so once again, just unlock the screen, and you can pull it over. The friends list can be useful, so I'm going to pull that out as well. The emote tab is already out with the chat box in the bottom left, so you can just click on that and go through that as you want. Back down on the ribbon, let's click on the red members icon. You can see a few useful things in this tab. So over here, you can look at the treasure hunter. Obviously, you start off with zero keys, but once you start getting keys, you can access it through here, or on the top left of the screen, you'll see a little treasure box that you can go through through there. If an event is going on, there'll be another tab that pops up here as well. When you click on the little sword icon, that's going to bring up your hero tab. So here you can see a bunch of information about yourself. You can take a look at your total level and combat level, your progressions and different activities, and your skills. There are a lot of achievements in this game, so if you go over to the achievements tab, you'll be able to keep track of them there. Just click on the little trophy icon and you can go through all of the achievements. You have different ones for skills, and exploration, and area tasks that all can get you different rewards. And then down at Tracker, you can see your progress towards meeting different requirements like getting the Max Cape, Completion Escape, Quest Cape, and so on. And now the fun part. Click on the little mask here and you'll pull up your customizations. So here is where you can look at all the pets that you can bring out, different titles that you can equip, and of course, change your appearance. And you can change your outfit over on this side. Once you have your UI set up how you want, an important thing you should do is go into your settings and click on Edit Layout Mode. Once you're here, go to Save Layout, and you have different custom layouts that you could save it to. So just click on the first one, hit OK, save and exit, and now your UI is going to be saved. So now, let's say you move something around by accident or change the format of it. You can just go to your settings, go to the Load Layout drop-down, go over the My Custom 1 or whichever other one you saved it to, and it's going to automatically bring it back to what you saved it as. And then that's pretty much it. Just go through taking out things that you find unnecessary or adding in things that you want. So over here, like, I don't really need this clan chat, so I'm going to hit X, take some stuff out, make it a little less cluttered. So before I end this, I want to go over a couple of things about the action bar. So you can see you have all the number hotkeys that you have assigned, but you can add other hotkeys by right-clicking on whatever ability you want to use and click on Customize Keybind. So I'm going to do F for food, and once I X that out, it's now set to have F to eat my food. Now obviously I don't have any edible food in my inventory, but hitting that button is now going to make you eat whatever food comes up first in your inventory. Another very useful ability to have, go into your magic book, under your abilities, and bring over Surge somewhere. Now even though Surge is a magic ability and you need a magic level to use it, this is a very very handy mobile ability that you'll need to use. So right click it, customize to whatever you want. Now since I don't have the level requirement for it, I can't use it right now, but it will, as you can see, instantly teleport 10 tiles in a straight line ahead. So it'll just shoot you forward in a straight line for some fast movement. So just fill up your action bars with any useful things, it doesn't have to just be combat abilities. As I mentioned earlier, you can put teleports on your bar, so if you click on the home teleport button, you can drag over whatever teleports you have access to, and you can teleport it through that way. So once you just click on it, there you go. Alright guys, so that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found it useful and got some good ideas to use for your UI. We also have a tips and tricks video on the channel that you can take a look at to get some other ideas on how you can set up your UI as well as some other tips. If you're interested in our live streams, we're also on Twitch all throughout the week. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!